little bit this morning. Multiple choice sermon. Show of hands. Do you have hands? Okay. Show of hands. I'll give you the options first. The first one is fences or hidey ho neighbor. The other one is crosses or may the circle be unbroken. Think for a second. Talk amongst yourselves. Okay, that's enough. Show of hands. Who wants fences? Are you happy? All right. Who wants crosses? Who thinks pastors is crazy and doesn't care? All right. There we go. Third one it is. It is crosses.
three months, and then a year after that, is praying together. Next three months, I really, really want to focus on praying together. How do we do it? What are we praying for? And how do we know, most importantly, I think, how do we know that God actually listened and answered? There's nothing more frustrating than praying and going, well, I don't know if you did anything. <laughs> now, the reason we're doing this is twofold. Number one, we need to know how to pray. I've been doing it all my life, man. I'm probably pretty good at it. So I want to learn from you. But there might be some other things in our circle that we're able to learn from as well. Number two, we often pray for ourselves. And our prayers get caught up in those things that try and distract us. You know? Lord, please buy me a Mercedes Benz. Lord, please don't let me run out of gas before I get to church. That was mine this morning. <laughs> Our prayers are okay for that. But they're also for so much more. So today, as the ending of the sermon, in the beginning of the next three months, I'd like you to pray with me. But we're going to do it a little different. Don't worry, we're Luther. We're not going to do anything crazy. I'm going to say a prayer. And before I say amen, we're going to have like 10, 20 seconds of ominous silence. I want you to pray in your head during that time, okay? Pray for someone or something in this room. Not just me. That's cheating. Can you do that? Let's see. Let us pray. Gracious and merciful God, we give you thanks for the ability to call upon you at any time for any need and the assurance that you answer our prayers. We give you thanks for the care that you show us through your Son, through the lives that you guide us through with your Spirit, and for the care that you shower upon us when the world tries to break our circle. We ask that as we pray, in a few moments, you would receive these prayers and you would answer them in ways that we see as true and good. Mighty God, we now pray. Mighty God, all of this we pray in your name. Amen. <coughs> Anybody burst into flames? Anybody fall over dead? No? All right, well then we'll keep working at it. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. <laughs>